according to museum officials, renovation of the museum is starting today and should be completed just in time for the 100th anniversary of Nassau County in 1999. The construction of Hempstead Commons will begin in six months and should be completed sometime next year. In Hempstead, Lada Tatiana Lisniak, LI News Tonight. According to Jay, the best thing about playing Tevya were his female fans. We love you, Jay! In Herrick's Lada Tatiana Lisniak, LI News Tonight. For the 16th year in a row, this weekend, Stony Brook College hosted the East Coast's largest convention of science fiction, fact, and fantasy. Nicknamed Icon 16, convention organizers say that this year Icon attracted over 6,000 visitors who spent the whole weekend either dressed up as their favorite sci-fi character, enjoying expert panels with names like Home is the Strangest Place of All, buying and browsing through sci-fi memorabilia, or even watching medieval-style combat demonstrations. There was something for everyone. As well, the convention attracted some famous stars from the sci-fi world, including René Abergenois, who plays Odo on Star Trek Deep Space Nine. He says he appreciates the opportunity to meet and talk with his fans. Hearing the questions, they, they know more about the show than I do, and they ask fascinating questions, and by having to answer them, it forces me to really articulate things and understand what I'm doing. You know. It has something for everyone. You know. um, and you don't have to be a total science fiction nut, or you can be. It doesn't make any difference because um, there's just so much to, to do, and there's so much to learn here, too. That's what I like about it. I enjoy dressing up weird, um, you know, playing Dungeons and Dragons. Um, it's one of the only chances you get to actually dress up like this, you know, and walk around and not have people constantly staring at you, wanting to put you in a loony bin. Do you happen to know any Klingon at all? I speak a little. Now, what does that mean? Where's the bathroom? According to convention organizers, next year's convention, Icon 17, will be even bigger and more spectacular. So plan on arriving early, or you might have trouble finding a parking spot for your spaceship. Beam me up, Scotty. In Stony Brook, Lotto Tatiana Lisniak, LR News Tonight. U.S. Congresswoman Carolyn McCarthy was honored today at a luncheon held by CAPS, Child Abuse Prevention Services. According to CAPS, it's a nonprofit volunteer organization which, through education, fights the growing problem of child abuse, violence, and neglect in Nassau and Suffolk counties. Elaine Fagan, who is executive director of CAPS, said they chose to honor Carolyn McCarthy because of her stand against violence and gun control. The, the cycle of violence where uh, an abused child grows up with a greater potential for becoming an abusive parent or becoming a, um, an abuser in some other fashion. So we see that violence be begets violence and it's all part of the same uh, cycle. I'm more than honored mainly because I've always said if we can work with the young people and obviously we know if children are abused sometimes they go on to a uh, path of crime so the work that this organization is doing is, is, is tremendous. Not everybody is happy with the selection of Carol McCarthy as honoree. Just yesterday Nassau County District Attorney Dennis Dillon sent a letter to the president of CAPS questioning why McCarthy was chosen when just a few weeks ago McCarthy voted against a bill which would ban partial birth abortions and in Dillon's eyes this is a form of child abuse but others here say the selection was correct. I think the choice of Carolyn McCarthy is excellent. She's certainly someone women should look up to. And as far as Dennis Stillen, he's entitled to his own opinion, but I don't feel that he has any right to feel that this organization, which is, does such important work, should not honor a woman who is really into helping child abuse. I'm very pleased with her choice. I think she's down to earth. She knows what the issues are. She knows what the facts are. She's one of us. That's really basically what it's all about. She's not a politician. In Uniondale, Lada Tatiana Lisniak, LR News Tonight. Suffolk County Police say that 18 school children suffered minor injuries today when their school bus collided with a Jeep in Central Islip. The accident occurred around 7.25 this morning at the intersection of Wheeler Road and McGowan Lane. According to the police, the driver of the bus, 75-year-old Raymond Burma of Blue Point, was heading north on Wheeler Road. And they say that 25-year-old Joseph Insalaka of Smithtown, whose Jeep Cherokee collided with the bus, was heading south on the same road. According to police officials, the bus driver was attempting to make a left-hand turn onto McGowan Lane when the accident occurred. 
Police say that rain could have played a part in the accident. At this point, the, uh, the cause is under investigation. Uh, the roads, we know that the roads were slick and wet, and it could be a number of reasons. Uh, the driver of the chief, Joseph S. Locker, was issued a summons for having an expired license. But that has, uh, we don't think it has much bearing as far as the cause of the accident. According to an onlooker at the scene of the accident, the front end of both the jeep and the bus were severely damaged. There was no nose on the front of the bus anymore. That was on another truck, and Cherokee, that, that was folded up all the way up to the windshield. So, it was a pretty bad accident. According to police, there were minor injuries to three students and both drivers. The driver of the Jeep Cherokee, Joseph and Salako, and two students were brought here to Southside Hospital in Bayshore, and according to a hospital spokesman, all were treated for minor injuries and released. The other 16 students and driver of the bus were taken to St. John's Hospital in Smithtown, where they as well were treated for minor injuries and released. According to Suffolk Transportation, Burma has been driving for the company for over 20 years, and it says he never had an accident. The company also says the bus involved was inspected right after the accident, and no violations were found. In Central Islip, Lado Tatiana Lizniak, LI News Tonight.